Thursday. We meet with you from 12.30 to 1 o'clock every Thursday. We talk to people who are bosses or supervisors who would like to help us understand the dynamics between employees and employers. We've been doing this for 18 months. Jesse, how are you doing today over there? Excellent. Good, good to see you. The weather's nice. We're here in southern New Jersey. We're so glad you could join us today. And we have a very special set of guests today. Uh, Jim Cucinata and Ellen Magenheim from Halo Health International. How are you doing today? Good. Excellent. Now, you folks um, understand that when we talk about the Lunch at the Boss, we oftentimes we talk about the dynamics between employees and employers and how either your products or your services may affect that dynamic, or maybe it doesn't sometimes. So I think we're going to start out with you, Ellen. Tell me a little bit about yourself, a little bit about Halo International, Halo Health International, and you know, how you got to where you are today. Okay, um, my background has been in the health field for about 30 plus years, mm -hmm. and it's been from any, everywhere from working in nursing to case management all over, and we just started because I, we really wanted to help our friends and neighbors li live a healthier life, mm -hmm. and that's always what I've been in my, doing in my past, and we just started doing this in our company today. And how, how old is the company? About five years. About we just five finished, years. We just completed our fourth year. So, so when started. you think about it, I mean, you're in a business that didn't really put this together, and then you decide to have a business like this. Yes, we right. decided to start something to help again, to help our friends and family live a better and healthier right. life, and to educate the pa patients on where they can get the services that they need. Right, and you found that through personal experience that that's very very helpful to the patient. Sure, anything that we can help take away the frustration or the the fear or the unknown mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. that's what we that's what it is that we started to do to educate the people what's out there in the community and help them connect to what's out there and understand what is to, to accomplish this. and you start out with two of you right yes. five years ago right we actually you? started out with five of us five okay and then anytime you do a uh, new company startup right you either need to bring skill money or talent Right. And sadly, the two people, three people in the middle didn't have any of that. Didn't have, all right. So they were there for a while, and then they, and left. Then they yes. left. And so now you have some people working with you. We do. You have other employees besides them. Yes. And your company has grown tremendously in the last five years. Yes. Now, tell us a little bit about what you do, because the people out there really may not understand why it's important to learn more about your health in a way that's comfortable and not so complex. Okay. Actually, I can handle this. Yeah. Um, I am a person who does not worry about my health, okay? I go to the doctor under duress, but probably about six or seven years ago, I ended up having some back issues, and when I went to see my doctor, they said, go get an x-ray, so I said, where? And they said, go over to blah, 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 blah. Well, I went to blah, 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 blah. They took my x-rays, but they never told me they didn't take my insurance. So when I went back to talk to the doctor, I said, you know, well, now what? And they said, well, unfortunately, it's so sad, too bad. But you need an MRI. And I was like, well, you know, I've learned this trick before. I'm not going to ask you where to go. I'm going to try to figure out where to go. And as I was um, going through this journey, it kind of said, you know, it would be great if I was sitting in a doctor's office. And if I was at a, a doctor who was a member of a health system, that that health system's radiology department's address would show up. Mm -hmm. This way, I don't have to think. I could just sit there and say, Oh, I need an MRI and I'm going to see ABC Healthcare. Right. Might as well go to ABC's radiology and it'll help shorten my, you know, my, my learning curve. Right. Same thing with PT, same thing with cardiology, urology, anything that you know, deals with, with men's health for me. It would have been great if while I was sitting there, they gave me an opportunity to kind of tell me where to go other than you know, go fend for yourself. And, and your background is what, Jim? It's consumer products. Consumer. So this is. Um a consumer product in a way. Well, it is exactly a consumer product. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's an um, internal marketing tool for patients or right. employees or customers. And anybody that needs to be communi communicated to while they're inside of your place of business, that's what we do really well. Now, um, let's spend a moment on the employee part of this. So here we are in the waiting room of a gastroenterologist, and they just saw the loop of your educational program. I want you to tell us some details in a minute. Mm -hmm. And um, the employees presumably see the same type of loop. And now the patient comes up to the window and asks a question. And because that the employee had been watching the information, they have actually a better conversation right. about her or his health. And you know, not, it's not a medical conversation, but just something that makes them a little more savvy. And if you're buying something, I know this just from buying. The more I know about something when I'm buying, the better experience it is. 
Well, the more you must know then about your health when you're getting checked out, I would expect it to be a better experience. Yes. So how do you think the employees look at this when you've put in many of these systems and they learn something? You must have some great stories about them helping out the patients. Absolutely. Yeah. The, um, the funniest one is we've had patients who have come to them and said, oh, I didn't know about blah, 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 blah. Those, those you expect, right? A right. patient learning something. But we've also had uh, offices call us and say, you know, all of our nurses go in the office on Monday morning of the first day of the month so that they could see the new content. So they're actually getting right. engaged as a group to watch what's going on on the screens. Mm -hmm. One, so they can answer the patient's questions. But two, a lot of times, a lot of the stuff that we present, we're presenting things that, that you think is a no-brainer. You should drink eight glasses of water a day. Right. But then we tell them why, because, you know... Because uh, what it does for you. Yeah, what it does for you, you know, Not physically just, or mentally right. or, or, or whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's the type of stuff that they like. We also like... Um, they also like seeing themselves on the screen. You know, they meaning the, they, the staff themselves. and the doctor. So we always do staff shots. We always, mm -hmm. you know, come in and we take pictures of everybody who's in the office and put them on the television because That's it fabulous. draws as a community. Yeah. It, look, any company I worked for that I felt like it was a family business was a successful business in my mind. Mm -hmm. Any company I worked for that didn't feel like a family business could be successful, but it didn't feel that good. Right. It was cold. Mm -hmm. um, Medical practices, medical professions, they're by danger often viewed as cold. Mm -hmm. Even if you have a warm doctor, it's just walking in there and you know, just the whole the smell, the, the, the whole thing. Um, I think you can really change an atmosphere by putting in some information on a TV. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. It's a cable, right? Yeah. You the folks out there, it's just a cable hooked up to a TV and you run the, you run the program and you can put on there whatever you want. Tell us more about how that works. Done, after you. <laughs> yeah, well, what, what we like about most about it is that we're educating them and kind of taking the fear out of it. So when you have somebody that's coming into that type of a situation, they're already coming in because they don't feel well or they're with a care partner or mm -hmm. something else. So when you're giving them the information, you take out the fear of the unknown. Right. So we talk about starting off telling a story about did you know trivia, just things like that, very right. light and passive. Right. And then as we're educating them, that's when they start the conversation between them and the doctor. So we kind of take out the fear and okay. start the process of educating the doctor as well as the patient. So the patients get a little bit more knowledge. They feel at ease with mm -hmm. them. So we can kind of make it more that family feel. So it works well for the patients. Works well it works patient. well for the employees. Yes. Right. And I'm going to take this quantum leap that the doctors, man or female, can put their information on there sure. for themselves yes. and promote themselves a little bit. Right. Mm -hmm. right. I want to talk to you more about that. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back. We are with Ellen and with Jim. They are from Halo Health International. They have lots to share with us with respect to putting information in waiting rooms of all types, but medical professions is what we're talking about today. And we'll be right back after these messages. Please stay with us. For independent living for seniors age 62 and over, People Inc. offers safe, maintenance-free apartments across Western New York. The affordable rent is income-based. For more information, call People Inc. Senior Living at 817-9090. Looking for a cooking oil with a light flavor and reduced absorption so food preserves its natural flavor? One with a high smoke point for stir frying, sauteing, grilling, and baking? Then choose all natural Pompeian 100% grapeseed oil imported from France. Grapes have been a key ingredient of the healthy Mediterranean diet for years. Pompeian 100% grapeseed oil is the chef's choice for high heat cooking, grilling, stir frying, sauteing, or even deep frying. And Pompeian 100% grapeseed oil is great for baking too, because its delicate taste does not overwhelm the flavor of cakes, cookies, and other favorite recipes. A key traditional ingredient of the Mediterranean, grapeseed oil is a rich source of vitamin E antioxidant and naturally gluten-free. Buy imported Pompeian 100% grapeseed oil today and find great recipes at Pompeian.com. Wait, don't let this happen to you. At JanFence, we're family owned and operated for over 50 years, providing a wide choice of fencing. Why wait online at the big box store? Just call JanFence. Ask about our easy fence to go products by Active Yards, the first truly do it yourself fence product. At JanFence, we always do what we say. Come see us today. Step into an extraordinary world that will excite your senses. 
experience our delectable Mughlai cuisine and the magic of tandoori savoir faire. Let our international award-winning team delight you with a taste of heaven. Enjoy our mouth-watering flavors and our unique flair for excellence. Savor the elegance of fine dining and catering. Shazam Restaurant. Indulge your taste buds. Today's show has been sponsored by More Than Gifts. Come see our new location in Marlton, New Jersey. Not just gifts, but more. Welcome, and we're back to Lunch with the Boss with Scott Tanker and Jim Cucinata and Ellen Magenheim from Halo Health International. I want you to give them a call. Their number is 856-520-8655. They're based right in Cherry Hill, New Jersey, where Route 295 hits Route 70, for those of you who are familiar. But more importantly, it's where you're at, not where they're at. They'll come to the, your office, they'll look at all the stuff that you have, and they'll share with you a really neat idea as we've been talking about, is putting patient information and sometimes even employee information regarding health care issues on a screen in a waiting room on a simple cable and it just works for everybody. We were talking about the employees and how they appreciate it because they learn a lot and how they share that information with the with their um, with the patients. We know the patients appreciate it because they like to learn more about educational things, uh, preventive care, all sorts of things. But really, at the end of the day, why do we do this stuff? Because at the end of the day, the doctors want you healthier, but they also want to make some money. Right. So if you're a healthy, smart patient, that actually is good for a doctor. <laughs> they, don't, they don't want just an unhealthy person. They want a healthy, unhealthy, smart person because they want to understand that you understand how to get healthier. So tell me, how do doctors perceive this and what do they do? Okay, so if, if you have to go along the lines of what you're saying, that a healthier, a smarter patient is healthier. All right. Okay, so if a smarter patient is healthier, they're more likely to comply with their treatment plan. Right. Okay, if they comply with their treatment plan, then they are going to make the doctor more money because most treatment plans, especially if you have a chronic disease, causes you for you to come back and forth to the doctor's office. Right. If you're compliant, you're going to make those visits. Right. The second thing is if you are a smarter patient and who wants to be healthier, you're going to listen to advice. So if right. they say to you, hey, we want you to start talking to our nutritionist, or you should go join our gym, mm -hmm. or you should do things like that. Well, if the nutritionist is office-based, the doctor makes money off of the nutritionist, right? right? So, right. and, and you're, if you're motivated to do that, right. you're going to do that. Right. The other thing is that you're going to probably, if you're smarter and who wants to be healthier, you are going to um, be more apt to stay in network because you realize that there are certain things that happen if you stay in network. Mm -hmm. Your electronic medical records get updated easier. If you stay in network and you're taking medications, it's easier for the doctors to mm -hmm. medication, you know, manage that medication to figure out what's converse, you know, what's adverse side effects. And the other is, um, you know, you want ease. You realize that everything flows. My insurance works, my EMR is being updated, medication management. Mm -hmm my continuity of care, which is a big buzzword, right. kind of stays. The other thing for a doctor is um, there's this thing called meaningful use. Meaningful right. use is part of the Medicare incentive for you to take care of a doctor. And it mm -hmm. basically says, if you educate your patients, then you get dot, 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 dot as part right. of a general reimbursement. Well, right. we help them satisfy those types of meaningful use criteria. There's a bunch of them. Uh, last time we checked, I think 27 to 29 of them are affected by using our system. Do you find that people aren't doing that, doctors? Yes, we find that, that a lot of times um, you talk about cold. Um, waiting rooms are cold, right? There's a glass door that separates you between you and them. Um, <coughs> the television me. tends to be very generic daytime TV. So if I want to learn about class action lawsuits or medical malpractice or pharmaceutical drugs or unhealthy food, then I want to watch my daytime TV. Right. If I want to learn about how this doctor can actually help me, then I need a system like this. And some of the things that the doctor does in addition to what they might be there for. Absolutely. The doctor could also set up, for those who really think about this, a professional network of doctors vis-a-vis mm -hmm. -vis right. through this loop. Right. Mm -hmm. And um, that's a really neat thing to do because people don't always know, okay, you know what, you, um, you need to go see a sleep apnea specialist. Right. And, okay, where do I go? Exactly. Exactly. I don't know. You know, look at look it up. Google. Yeah, go Google. 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 Yeah. Wouldn't Google. it be nice if you had a connection? Sure. At least you know they're not saying they're good or bad. They're saying here's someone I know. Right. And or that, or if me, there's multiple ones that they could be up there absolutely. because you know because you have to qualify with giving them options, giving right. patient options. I will go back to a doctor that helps me get to a doctor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. 
Because you know that they're at the end of the day they're thinking about you. You think so, right? I mean, sometimes there's some defensive medicine, but you know. Yeah. Having said that, you still get that. Now, tell me about your work style. I mean, you too. You have a brand new business. There's people that work under you. Right. Um, what are some of your strengths? Um, freedom. Your I strength. Like, you like to my strength. Freedom. I like to give people the freedom to do their job. Okay. You right. outline it in writing. Outline what in writing? Their job. Job profile. Oh, absolutely. Job? We did. We, we everything's in writing. Everything's in writing. They Perfect. they have a uh, expectation, mm -hmm. and, and we give them the you know especially my style is I give them the freedom to do it. Right. I also am always available. You've been to our office. The door's always, always open. Yeah. You know, come How in and ask a question. Open space, open door. Same now, thing. in terms of um, um, the jobs, the people you speak to, again, you put them in writing, or that's something you adhere to? Mm -hmm. Even if you don't do it, that's something you'd rather? Our culture is the same, although okay. it's diversified backgrounds, mm -hmm. but it's the culture is the same. You work at different paces? I don't different think paces? we work at different paces. We're both kind of high yeah. level, but just different facets of it. Different, definitely different styles, though. Different yes. styles. So what, yes. um, your pace? I have a very fast pace, very and fast I just, pace. yes, the more okay. balls I'm juggling, the better it is for I me. See. And what's your strength, you think, as a, as, a, as a boss or as a supervisor of others? Being able to break it down a little bit and mm -hmm. see what the problem is, get to a solution, and move on, move on with it. And Jim, what's your strength, you think, other than freedom? Other than freedom? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, no, <laughs> actually, I was going to say, I think that it's the same thing. I think that, it, that you could, that being able to take a very complex problem mm -hmm. and give a very Break simple solution. I think that's both of our strengths. That's why we work well. Um, when someone comes in and says, I want to talk to my patients, I don't know what to say, or I have a problem with my billing, or I have a problem with my marketing, mm -hmm. you can look at that problem and, and, and say to them, this, this is, in our opinion, or the, my opinion, this is the one, two, three things you need to do to kind of unclog yourself. And, and as a uh, manager, we kind of give our employees the same type of thing. Well, where are you stuck? We have, that's one of the big questions in our office, is where are you stuck? You know, you have a very interesting business, because once you get the client, you need to educate them in areas that you're not necessarily educated in all the time. Mm -hmm. I mean, not that you don't know anything, but you're not, you're not a physician, per se. Right, right. So, um, and then you have to film it, mm -hmm. and you have, to, you have to write it, script it, film right. it, Stage it, yep. and you're doing all that, so you're really like a general contractor when it comes to these things. Yeah, absolutely. You get the electricity up there, you get the, the, uh, the cable hooked up to the TV, and you m monitor the shows, and you change and add yeah. and subtract. I think you mentioned to me you get a chance to change the show twice a year or something, or, or once a year? Their you can content? change the content? No, we change we it change monthly. We change it monthly. Change it monthly. How yeah. fantastic Or as they need it. Or yes. as they need it. Mm -hmm. That's great. We and, just, yeah. I'm sorry. No, go for it. No, we just help the doctors tell their story. And that's the good thing about how it is that we do, because they don't know how to do that so well sometimes. And so we just help them make it. How does that help the employee and the doctor? Is there any connection between what you do and does the employee, and I, you know, and I hate to say this, but it's just observation. Many women usually are manning the front desk area. Mm -hmm. and many, many doctors are men. Mm -hmm. So a doctor, a tough doctor, puts in this thing, and the women who are very soft say, oh, that's such a great thing this guy did. I feel a little better about this guy. Is that, does any of that happen? Is that a benefit that makes you feel a little better or am I just really stressed? No, I think it's, a, I, I hate to say it, but I think it goes the other way where the, the, the first couple weeks it's, you've disrupted my world. Your world is the patient room, uh, my world is the front That's office. Right. Uh, and uh, so you get a little bit of um, resentment in a, in a way that they think that our product may be going away. So we get a lot of calls with, hmm. uh, our cleaning service touched, our, touched your product again. We don't know how it happened. But, and it always happens at three o'clock when General Hospital used to be on. Right. So we kind of know the uh, what's going down. What's going down. Yeah. So what ends up happening is we end up saying to them, "Well, what kind of information would you like us to talk about?" Right. And then once the front the front desk gets that um, input and then we implement it, they then become things a little more flow, right? Yeah. And they become a lot more, uh, you know, uh, they become owners of the program. And interested, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, hold that thought. We have a couple more things to ask you about. We're going to take another break. We're here with Ellen and we're here with Jim at Halo Health International. Their phone number is 856-520-8655. We'll be back after these messages to talk to them some more. In a world where bankers have lost all interest, where robots and fat cats rule our fortunes, one woman Hi. will stand up and strive to do the impossible. Be treated like a person. Friends and neighbors will join her quest. Ordinary people will band together against the forces of corporate greed. And together, they will form Philadelphia Federal Credit Union, already in a neighborhood near you.
Imagine the finest hand-selected USDA prime steak you'll ever have. The freshest line-caught seafood, our Wine Spectator award-winning wine list, and soul-satisfying desserts. Bring that together with the perfect date, the winning business deal, a memorable family celebration. Welcome to Rod's Steak and Seafood Grill in nearby Morristown, New Jersey. Bring your appetite and feed your passion. Your credit score is yours, and at Experian Credit Expert, we want to help you really use it. With access to helpful Experian experts over the phone and online, we can help you use it to get a better idea of what info the banks have on you. Use it to get more choice of mortgages. Use it to make your money go further. Take the next step to improving your financial future with your free 30-day trial at experian.co.uk. Freppy's Tex-Mex, you can definitely taste the freshness in our food. You should definitely come to Freppy's because it's a great place. You can bring your family, very kid friendly. All my servers are amazing, friendly people. Everyone here is just happy to serve and, and I think it shows. The thing that sets us apart is the quality and freshness of our food. And I think once you try it, you'd be coming back. I'm Joe Desario, co-owner of Freppy's Tex-Mex in Plainfield, New Jersey. Today's show has been sponsored by More Than Gifts. Come see our new location in Martha, New Jersey. Not just gifts, but more. Welcome back. It's Scott Tanker, host with Lunch with the Boss. We're here with Ellen and Jim from Halo Health International. We've been talking about the key benefits of having a medical-based, uh, um, what should we call it, um, movie presentation. Digital education. Digital education, communication That'll piece right. that you put inside waiting rooms. This is where we're talking right now waiting rooms for the benefit of the patients. But what we found, and what we were talking about off camera was, so many times the employees benefit from these things. For instance, we talked a little bit about smoking cessation. Right. All of a sudden you have smoking cessation information on the, on the video, and one of the employees smokes and catches a whiff of it, no pun intended, and all of a sudden they, right. stop, they think about stop smoking. And you mentioned an incredible statistic about right. smoking. So a um, smoker costs a company about $6,000 a year in lost production and productivity. If you think about it as well, a smoker also costs, uh, costs the company money on the insurance side. So having right. somebody you know, stop smoking really helps the company make money both in productiv lost productivity mm -hmm. and in um, insurance premium. Now, how many people out there have sat in waiting rooms and your mind just went wandering because you're watching a stupid TV show, and I won't name any of the stupid TV shows, but they're out there, <laughs> especially during the day, daytime stupid TV shows. Anyway, if I'm sitting there and I'm learning about something I didn't know, I think that's pretty cool. Right. Now, unfortunately, with today's world, you have your phone on, and a lot of people have their head down on the phone, mm -hmm. but not everybody's like that, and anybody you can catch is good. Right. Mm -hmm. can be really helpful because the cost analysis, the cost benefit is amazing. You're spending 80 to to $100 a month for this incredible piece of service and equipment. And if one person did it a month, right. bought into it, you'd save money time and time and time again. It's right. fantastic. And we know we did information about patient safety. So therefore, you put this information even in waiting rooms, or I should say uh, lunch rooms, we were talking mm -hmm. about, mm -hmm. of industrial companies and manufacturing companies and companies that need to hear about the, the loss prevention initiatives mm -hmm. and the patient safety initiative and uh, I guess medical, medical companies, disease management and things right. like that. Mm -hmm. Sure. Um, how do you keep track of the positives? Do people come back to you and say, this is really cool. Do you get letters? I mean, I just think it's really great. I think people out there should absolutely take a look at this for whatever business you have. If you want to get the message across to your employees or your patients or customers, right. mm -hmm. then you need to look at a situation like this or a, a system like this mm -hmm. that's very inexpensive. You already have a stupid TV sitting in your right. waiting room, folks. So you might as well put something on there that's good 
that can really help you, that's productive. You need to speak to Ellen and Jim. Their number is 856-520-8655. My guess is your consultations are courtesy of the firm. Absolutely. Yes. What happens? I call you up. I say, come on in and take a look at my place. You don't even have to have us come in. So you call up and you say, yes, I want to start educating my patients. From there, we ask about three or four different types of questions. We ask about your practice, specialty, if you're a member of the health system, what the services the health system provides. We ask about your background, what your profile is, what your staff's profile is. We ask them about their demographic, you know, because we can customize language we could customize it to the t you know if, if you're in philadelphia and you want to run a news crawl we'll do philly.com right. if you're um, in detroit and you want to do something about you know detroit sports we'll pick up something that talks about you know uh, the tigers and the lions mm -hmm. and, and things like that so we really try to customize it so that it is your marketing tool from there it's as simple as do you have a tv yes great do you have the internet in your office yes great we're, we're, good going, go. we're good to go. We're going to do an installation in two weeks. Just let us know are you, what, when are you open. What's your that? normal presentation loop? If I, can, I don't know what to call the, it. The, 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 digital, normal, the, the content usually content. lasts about an hour and ten minutes. Of, the, of different things. Of different and things. Then and then it loops. Wow. And it can be it could changed. be forever. Yeah. Yes. It can be added, subtracted, mm -hmm. make it homey, make it personal, yep. make, make a change for the holidays. Mm -hmm. You can do all sorts of really neat things. Yes, we've run Yule, out amazing. Yule Logs. I was just going to say that the Christmas time, oh, the they Christmas asked us time. to do a Yule Log yeah. for the holiday party. How many clients do you have in the area? And here we are, ladies and gentlemen, in southern New Jersey, near Philadelphia. Right. I know you have we clients have, all over the place. Right. right. We have um, 100 in the state of New Jersey, mm -hmm. and we have about 150 across the rest of the country. How can people learn more about you? I'm doing the best I can. How right. can people learn more about They can actually go to our website, which is uh, haloheels.com. That sounds pretty easy. It is very easy. And on that website, you'll see demos? There's, yep, we have a sample video. We explain what we do, how we do it, and why you should care. If you are attached to a medical profession, I don't care if it's urgent care, medical centers, individual physicians, sole entrepreneur, group of physicians, you or someone in your organization has to call these folks. At the very least, have them come in and show you what they can do for a very modest amount of money per month, and the results, I think, will be outstanding. And I'll tell you what, I don't think they even told me to say this, try it. Just yeah. try it. Mikey, try you it. might like it. If you don't like it, you can get rid of it. Right, exactly. There's no serious contract? Do you have a... No, it's actually, it really is. If you don't like our product, we don't want your, our product in your office. Right. I mean, why would anybody want that? Exactly. So it's roughly 100 to 125 hours a month? Is that? It's a latte a day. Yeah. So it's not a, a lot of money. Oh, it's not a lot of money. Yeah. Right, you've thought about that. <laughs> you? Consumer products. Consumer, okay. All right. Now tell me. Now we can get a little personal here. You're in this incredible business called healthcare. Mm -hmm. You started out in this business. You've always been in this business. Mm -hmm. You're new to the business. We all look at ourselves at some point and say, "How did I get to how I am? What made me who I am? What gave me?" my characteristics and my personality and my, my, my moral you know, height. Sometimes it's a book, sometimes it's a parent, sometimes it's a movie. I've had people tell me it's a poem. Mm -hmm. What about for you? Who, who is your hero? Who helped you be what you are today and gave you the basics, the, base, the basis to do what you do? I would say my parents were very influential, and I had my grandparents who were in the medical field. Okay. And it's just always been to help. I've, that's been instilled since day one. Mm -hmm. You know, you just do the best that you can with the people that you are, treat them with respect, and help out if you can. And mm -hmm. I just started in the medical field, and that just seemed a natural. I mean, at the age of 12, profession. you knew you wanted to do this? I mean, yes. Yeah, okay. I have been doing this, like I said, about 35 I mean, my years. brother's a doctor, and he wanted to be a doctor at the age of seven. And mm -hmm. my, everybody who knew him then said he wanted to be a doctor. I didn't know him now. One years old. Right. To me, it was a pain in the butt, but we're not going to go there. No, I love you, Mark. I love you. Anyway, um, you know, so at 12 years old, if you knew that's you wanted to serve others in that respect. I did. I started yeah. out with physical therapy, and it was just, it was a neighborhood that we started helping out pe people in the neighborhood, and I just started going down that path from pharmacy, like I said, pharmacy, nursing, and just kept walking it down, and it's led me to here. Yeah. Jim? You know, it's funny, obviously, my parents from the moral side and, and that type of stuff, but um, when I started working, I worked for Tyco Toys. And the neat part of the job was creating products that made people happy. 
that made their lives easier, or did something that, that there was an immediate gratification of, of the product I produced. Mm -hmm. And as I've run through the different um, products and companies that I worked for, that was the part of the job I liked. You know, it, it was one of those things where um, helping people, making their lives easier, that leap coming from consumer products into healthcare was easy, mm -hmm. you know, because we are, we're, we're, we're helping people live better. Right. You right. know, we have, we have five million people a year who are watching our, our network that are living better, maybe because of what we're doing, which is kind of cool. That's attached to your 100 plus clients? Yes. All mm -hmm. these mm -hmm. That's a fantastic analytic. Yeah. And there are people who do what you do, but what I've heard is that they give it away, because they're right. big companies that just make up one and then here it is, and I think they're the, at a good deal. Right. But you, you're in this business, you're passionate about it, mm -hmm. you're on it every day, you monitor it. It's not like we send you an upgrade and here you put it in yourself. Right. You're there. Sure. People need to know that when you, when you buy this type of service, you can, like anything else on, in life, you can buy a sample online loop and stick it in a VHS machine, or right. you can buy the professionals and get something that's up to date, that's topical, that's good, that includes you, that makes it real homey as mm -hmm. if you owned it. and. It's just, I think that's just a great deal. Yeah. You're going to have to buy cable anyway. Right. That's right. Right? Yeah. We actually re replace cable. Yeah. So, you know, we do it um, We do it as a local company in that we care about our friends and neighbors, and we do it as a national company knowing that, that we can make a big impact. Mm -hmm. And it's us. I mean, it's, it's Halo. Chances are one of the owners of the company, if we're in the office, answers the phone. Yeah. You know, I know that because I did a call. Yeah. Folks, if you don't meet Ellen and Jim, and Halo Health International, then you're really doing yourself a disservice if you're in this field. You should talk to them no matter what. They can do all sorts of things. We spoke mainly about the medical profession today, but the fact is they can help in many, many areas, and the, the, the only limitation is what you can think of. Yeah. So I want you to meet with them. I want you to give them a call. Their initial co uh, consultations are courtesy of the firm. They'll speak to you on the phone. They'll get a very quick idea of who you are, what you are, what you want with your input, and they'll let you know how they can help you. Their number is 856-520-8655. That's 856-520-8655. www.halohealz.com. Thank you so much for joining us today. I really appreciate it, Alan. Thanks. Jim, Great. it's Thanks, a pleasure Scott. to see yeah, you. Good to see you. Ladies and gentlemen, Jesse, how you doing? Great. Another show up and gone. <laughs> Here we are today, it's next week, I think is May, almost May next week. So it's April showers, we'll bring some May flowers. We can't wait to see you next week. I'm Scott Tanker, host of Lunch with the Boss. We're here with Ellen and we're here with Jim from Halo Heels. Have a great day, have a great week. We'll see you next week, same time, same station. Be well, stay well, talk to you later.